So we met in a small little thrift store on the coast of Enfleur in France, okay? And she was on one side of the sweater rack and I was on the other. And we met in the middle. What she's not gonna tell you is that we argued over the sweater for about five minutes before agreeing to share it. She asked me out the next day. I asked her out the next day. What can I say? She was really pretty. Like she had this like, she has this like fluffy hair that's really fun to play with. And you know, we just had a lot in common. Same music taste, same fashion sense. Um, we had talked all night after meeting. It just felt so natural. Just a few weeks into the relationship, I realized that we both gained from it and we put the same energy into it. So she's very into art. So she teaches me some of that and I share my own skills. We also are free to share our opinions and world views. Hey, Google says that, that apparently we're a part of the ideal mate and social exchange theory when it comes to relationships. What does that mean? So it wasn't long until we moved in together. Yeah, so we actually found a routine very quick. She does the cooking, I do the cleaning, and we take turns feeding our cat, Phelan. <coughs> we like to do gardening together outside. Um, we're a dual income family. That means that she's a botany professor. I'm a novelist who owns a bookshop, so I'd say we share income pretty equally. Yeah, I find it equally. What does that mean? Ava asked me out on October 22nd, three years after we started dating. <laughs> I was so nervous. I had been thinking about this for ages. I wanted everything to go perfectly. So I just asked the big question. Will you marry me? I said yes, and now we have frog rings. No one tells you how difficult it is to plan a wedding. Like the media shows it, but you don't really know until you experience it for yourself. Yeah, we like, we found ourselves fighting over the smallest things constantly. We had a budget of like 15k, which is really good for a wedding. And we wanted everything to just be perfect. Mm -hmm. Everything became an argument. It was so tense. Like the bridesmaids dresses, the decor, everything. But we pulled it all together and it was one of the happiest days of my life. <laughs> To bind, I take your hand in mine, and with this string I will entwine from now until the end of time. binding ritual where we stand in like a ring of fire and then we bind our love that way but no that's dangerous and a fire hazard so for our honeymoon we went back to off of france and we revisited the thrift store oh our honeymoon was so pretty it was really hard to come back home Things went really well with our marriage for the first couple of years until we ended things with Sam. So I'd always thought, why limit yourself to one person to love? If you fall in love with someone else while in a relationship, why not pursue it if your partner is okay with it? So that's what we did. She met Sam at work and I never had really thought about a polyamorous relationship before, but I didn't really know I would enjoy it until we tried it. So after about a year and a half, uh, we decided to tell our friends and family about our relationship with Sam. Things took a turn for the worst and we ended up 
ending things with them. We had to learn how to become a duo again and relearn each other apart from our third. So we went to couples therapy. So how does that make you feel? With therapy, we were able to spend more time on each other and on ourselves. I guess society is just not built for that type of love. Marriage isn't always easy, but through reminders of our love, we can prevail.